Hey everybody, welcome to The Pagan Perspective. My name is Angel and I'm your Friday host and today we're going to be talking about our funerals. Okay, I'll put the full question down below, but it's really not that long, so I'll go ahead and read it. Hello, I am currently in school studying to be a funeral director embalmer or slash embalmer. So, of course, I have to learn a lot about religious practices dealing with death and funerals. I was curious on if you have put any thought into your funeral or if your personal faith has any must-haves or whatnot. Uh... It's kind of ironic this subject's coming up because I'm um, doing a lot of research on death lately. Primarily because I almost have like a phobia of it and it freaks me out. And, and I, not of dying necessarily, but being forgotten or forgetting. Anyways, that's a whole nother subject. But I have made provisions for my family financially to be able to take care of my my send-off um, so they're not burdened with that financially uh, as far as what I want and if my spirituality has played a part in it I, I do believe it has because my spirituality connects me with the earth a tremendous amount and um, my final resting place. I, I would like to, uh, they have these things. I don't know if I can find the link, but basically you can have your remains, whether it's ashes or not, I can't remember, put into this container. I think it's just your ashes and, um, with where you can become a tree basically. And I love trees. They're like my favorite thing of all things. And, um, so becoming them would be super rad. So that's what I would want. That's what I want for my final resting place. Um, as far as my, what, you know, is before that, I do not want to be mourned. I don't want people wearing black. I don't want people all solemn and, 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 you know, horribly sad and dreary, rainy, you know, the whole dramatic, I don't want that. I want my life to be celebrated and I want people to wear bright colors and I want, I don't want ridiculous expensive flowers. Donate, you know, take that money and donate it to the causes I support or support it in life because that would mean more to me than sending all these flowers that are just going to die. Um, and I wanted my life to be celebrated because I, I live life, you know, I don't really have regrets. I mean, yeah, I wish I would have done a little bit better in school and, you know, maybe I've made a couple little choices here and there a little bit differently, but even that, you know, I like where I am in life. So if I change anything, I might end up here. So. I want people to celebrate that, that I don't have regrets. I lived life and I did what I wanted to do. I loved who I wanted to love. I moved where I wanted to move and, and I'm happy. And I want people to celebrate that because that's worth celebrating. And if you live your life at all like that, when you go, it shouldn't be mournful. I mean, People will be sad, but it shouldn't be this horrible, dreary thing that, you know, you left this world. Hopefully you left it better being in it. That's my hope, anyways, that I did when I go. Man, this is a hard subject for me. <laughs> um, but I, I think my my beliefs have played a part into, into the decisions I made for how I will be sent off, if you will. I think they've played a huge part in it. And, um, you know, I don't want to have a funeral in a funeral home or in a church. And I don't want any biblical things read or any, you know, 
poetry maybe or sayings that I loved or um, stories people people telling stories situations that they experienced with me and share it with other people that were in my life that may not know them that's what I would want I'd want it I want it to be like that you know as happy as it can be when somebody dies but now I'm starting to ramble <laughs> so yes my 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 path has played a part in um, my decisions of how I will leave this place and be in a tree that's what I want to do I want to be a tree you know if if my husband or whoever is around whenever this happens wants to separate my ashes and keep some with them that's cool too whatever um, I don't think it's sacrilegious at least not to me to separate it out um, but I want to be a tree and I want people to celebrate my life and share their life with me with each other yeah that's what I would want so okay that's all <laughs> um, I hope that answered the question you know this is um, probably not the easiest ironically not the easiest subject for some people for me especially I know I'm one of those people that it's not easy to talk about and um, but it's cool it's cool to make you think about things like that and I'm interested actually in what everybody else is gonna say about this and what their how their spirituality has affected their decision on how they'll be going off to the sunset so thank you so much for the question and until next week I hope everyone has a great rest of the weekend and I will see you next time blessed be bye